If you are new to screen printing with Speedball Fabric Ink, did you know there's one crucial step you need to take before washing your t-shirts? Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. On my channel, I teach crafters how to screen print using vinyl that you cut on your Cricut or any brand cutting machine. If you would like to see how I set up my screen with vinyl for screen printing, be sure to watch my beginner video linked above. In this video, I'm gonna share my steps for curing Speedball Fabric Ink. If you're using a different brand, the drying and cure times may be a little different. To show you the curing process, let's screen print a design on the new EcoMax t-shirts from Bella Canvas. The EcoMax tee is completely recycled. It's made from scraps from their cutting room floor along with recycled plastic water bottles. These tees pair well with water-based screen printing ink, which is more eco-friendly than other types of screen printing inks. I'm using a peach color that I've mixed using my ink recipe guide for Speedball ink. Now that we have our shirts printed and the ink is wet, there are two important steps to curing your Speedball ink. First, you must dry the ink, then you must apply heat for a final cure. If you would like a printable version of these steps to keep handy, you can download my free printable heat setting instructions in the link below. First, we must allow the ink to dry so that all the water evaporates out. If you have time, you can allow the ink to air dry. I leave my shirts spread out to air dry for at least 24 hours. Placing the shirts by a fan or in a room with good ventilation will help speed up the air drying. Now, if you're like me and usually making shirts at the last minute, you can use a heat gun to speed up this drying process even more. My heat gun is turned up all the way, so I'm getting a lot of heat here. You wanna be careful not to burn your shirt or table. Moving the heat gun around for one to two minutes, make sure that you are evenly heating the entire print. After the shirts are completely dry, the second step is to apply heat. My heat press is set to 320 degrees and I'm gonna press for 40 seconds. You can also use an easy press with the same settings. If you don't have either of these, an iron or an easy press mini works as well. For cotton or cotton poly blend shirts, you will choose the cotton setting on your iron or high heat setting on the Easy Press Mini. Move it over your entire design for three to five minutes to achieve enough heat to cure the ink. While an iron is great for beginners who don't have a heat press, if you're gonna do a lot of screen printing, a heat press is a great investment. This will ensure your entire design is getting the correct amount of heat and you can multitask while your shirts are on the press. Now your shirts are ready to be washed and worn. With the proper dry time and curing, the ink should not fade when you wash it. The ink on these shirts is gonna last as long as the shirts themselves. I can already tell that screen printing on these EcoMax tees is gonna be one of my favorite shirts that gets washed and worn for years to come. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more screen printing with vinyl tips and tricks.